You mighty close, child. Hold on. What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Coming at y'all to um, see. See, because I don't know if I'm going to show y'all or not, but we're going to try that together, okay? I'm going to see if I can take these, uh, how do you take these nails out? So, I'm going to use hot soapy water and coconut oil. Oh, uh, I had seen a, um, a video that said use uh, cuticle oil and all of that. So, I'm like, I ain't got no cuticle oil. <laughs> Who got that? Who got that? I haven't know about no cuticle oil when I got all these oils that I put in my hair. So, I'm going to use coconut oil, which is the oil that I use the least in my hair. I don't even think I use it anymore at all unless it's like an emergency and I ain't got no more oil at all. So, I got coconut oil here. I'm just going to put it on my little fingers. And I got me a bowl of water in dish liquid. Palm olive dish detergent is in there. That's what's in there. That's it. Just soapy water. And we're going to see if coconut oil will do the trick. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my coconut oil. And, ew, put it on my hands. I'm just going to rub it on my whole hand. Because that's just, that's just doing the most. I got an extra lot. So I can like get on up in there. Get on up in there. Um, they say you can get acetone and like soak up in acetone too. But, um... I'm going to try this way to, to protect my real nails and to keep them from being so dry. And um, we're going to see if this works. I don't know. Look, I already popped off those two. I did those on purpose because one video said you could just prime them loose. And I'm like, okay, well, let me try to pop two of loose. So I did that. And I don't think I'm a fan of that. You know, I ain't going to pop the rest of them loose. I'm going to try this coconut oil here. Ain't nobody said get no coconut oil. This just my thing. So we're going to see if it works anyway. So I'm trying to get it like... Trying to squeeze it up in there, trying to get it up under the nails. I'm trying to massage it a little bit. You know, hopefully doing it this way won't ruin, you know, my real nails. That's what I'm hoping anyways. So now all I'm going to do is soak it in this water. Just like this. Look, I was going to show y'all and move, move the camera over there, but I done put the oil all over my hands. I'm not finna mess up my camera just so y'all can see. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hold this in here um, for like 20 to 30 minutes. I don't know how long. I don't know how long. But I'm, I'm going to say 20 minutes, and then I'm going to be back with y'all, okay? Just sitting here. Wait a minute. I'm finna get my phone so I can go watch somebody uh, video for that long. That's a long time. I can't just sit here with nothing to do. Okay, hold on. Okay, y'all, I managed to get my nails off. And that took 14 minutes and 55 seconds. So, shout out to um, Rose and Miguel because I was watching your mukbang channel. And you guys were eating Texas size fried mushroom chili and cheese fries and hamburgers okay because that's what i was watching you know since it was a long video and um i watched 14 minutes and 55 seconds of it and now my nails are off completely off and what i did was i let them soak and as they were soaking i got this you see what this is this is a nail file but at the end it got this little hook um i think i got it from the dollar tree and then i was like going in there let me see. Let me see if I can show you an example. I was just going in, in the side with it. Let me show you. Like, see, this is my nail. And I would just get it and go in the side and try to, like, pry it up a little bit. And I didn't do it till it hurt. I just kind of slid it around the cuticle part. And um, then I just wobbled it back and forth. Not not this way, but this way, side to side, and um, until it came off. Um, my nails are still intact. They're not filed down. They're not missing no uh, nail beard or none of that. They got a little bit of glue on them. Just a little bit. And I'm going to get that glue off with my little buffer thing I got. It's like a little block. Got that from the Dollar Tree. Let me see if I can dry them off and show you um, that some of the glue is still there. That's what they look like. No damage done to my nails whatsoever. So now I'm going to give my nails a 24-hour break, maybe 48-hour break, because I ain't even first did the other set of nails yet. And then I'm going to put these back on. So um, I am 100% satisfied with the glue-on nails versus acrylic nails.
way cheaper and I get to do my own thing and nobody upcharging me extra money for a certain amount of diamonds or a certain decoration or any of that stuff I do myself with my little collection that I got okay so I'm gonna um, file these buff this glue off the top of my nails and see I, think I need to wait till it dry all the way first but I'm gonna see I got this little thing I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to buff this side say buff so I want to see if that'll work I'm probably have to wait till it dry because it's so wet now it's just sliding across and then this little cheap little thing from the Dollar Tree oh oh that side rough well maybe that'll work oh okay that's working that side works it's the green side okay and don't buff the nail just buff like lightly so you can just get the glue that's on top that's all and once my nails dry fully then I'm gonna go back in with this buffer so it won't be such a hard scrub so I won't mess up my real nail and um, my nails are gonna be complete y'all so I guess it works a bowl of hot soapy water and my coconut oil oh oh what you didn't see was um when i did put my hands in the the water i feel like it wasn't oily enough so i just got a little bit of coconut oil and just dropped it in the water and just like mix it into the water so it was coconut oil and hot soapy water and a little bit of prying on the sides while it was in there soaked them for like 10 minutes and then i start prying 10 or 12 minutes and i start prying so all together it took me 14 minutes and 55 seconds okay y'all scratch what I just said about the buffer um, I will not be using this buffer because it burned and it was doing too much you know it was actually buffing my nails my real nail down and I don't want that so I found this to be much easier this came from the Dollar Tree in a little in a little set with some scissors and this and a little nail clipper so if I go like Oh, I can't even show you exactly where I see the shiny part, which is where the glue it. It takes it right off, and I don't feel nothing. With this, it was kind of burning me a little bit because, you know, it was buffing off my nail bit, and I'm not trying to damage my nails. So, um, you know, because it's less pain, and I just get right on where I see the glue it, and I don't feel nothing, and I just took it off that way, okay? So, I wouldn't recommend this. Mm -mm. No. So, I'm going to finish filing with this. And that's it, y'all. It came off very nice and easy. And then I can get in the corner and I don't have to file unnecessary nail that don't have glue on it. So I believe that's why the, what the buffer was doing. It was going across. It's so big that you got to kind of do your whole nail, even if you hold it at an angle. It's like a burning feeling, kind of like, I don't know, fire? I don't know, girl. I don't know. But anyways, this is better. Something small is better so you can just get exactly where the glue at and call it a day. Okay? So shout out to um, the YouTubers who I was watching while I was doing that, which again is Rose and Miguel. I will leave a channel link below, y'all. It was just something um, they're entertaining. I've been watching them for a while. They just do mukbang videos, cool people down the earth, and I like them, y'all. Go check them out. Go check them out, y'all. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Um, and that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye.